February, Tennessee State Representative Clay Doggett proposed a resolution urging UT's Institute of Agriculture to complete a comprehensive study about the effect of Bradford pear trees on agriculture and forestry in the state. Many experts believe the tree should be banned. It's an invasive species negatively affecting native plants and trees. News 2's Davis Nolan talked to a local expert about the tree's effect on our local habitat. Well, in the springtime, when the Bradford pears are blooming, they're much easier to spot. And when left to spread on their own, you can see how they could easily crowd out the native species in the area. While the Bradford pear is invasive, um, it doesn't offer as many benefits for wildlife, but it also is unfortunately able to outcompete a lot of our native species. So when it comes to the competition for resources, whether it's nutrients, space, sunlight, um, those Bradford pear can typically do better than some of our native species. So we are seeing an imbalance and an overrepresentation of them. The Bradford pears are also known to have very weak branches, making them vulnerable to storms. If you're a property owner, UTTSU Extension is available to recommend the right types of plants and trees for your land. One of the big things we teach in a lot of our curriculum and classes is picking the right plant for the right place. And not always, but a lot of times that means turning towards our native Tennessee species. Not only do they cause fewer issues in the long run, um, which is cheaper for the homeowner, but they're just very well adapted to our environment and they do provide for native wildlife and other native species that might rely on them for a food source or for habitat. To find out what plants or trees might be best for your property and to contact your county's agricultural extension agent, go to uthort.tennessee.edu or go to this story on wkrn.com and we'll link you to their site. I'm Davis Nolan, News 2. Now, Bradford pears are already banned in three states, and the Tennessee State Legislature's resolution to study the effects of these trees recently passed the Tennessee House. It is now headed to the Senate.